So welcome to a brand new video. This is going to be a mega video today. We're going to go through the top five package sets of 2023. So in the last few days, Golf Monthly have published an article on what they believe are the best package sets of 2023. And I'm going to say right now, there is a surprising few in this list and there's a few things that I think possibly might be missing. Okay, so before we get into this video, I want to hear about your experience. Have you ever bought a package set of golf clubs? I think the way golf's going right now, right? Golf is expanding massively. And so many of us are starting to play golf for the first time, or we may only play golf once or twice a year. A package set is the best way to go if you still want to have that new look set. If you still want to have what would be a good performing driver, good performing irons, good performing wedges, and good performing putter, but all bundled in one go. Because if you're new to the game, or even if you're not, right, buying a new golf club is expensive, and also it can truly just be an absolute minefield if you're going second hand, like you don't want to get stung, but also if you're going new, it's an absolute minefield. How do you know what is right for your game if you don't want to get fitted because that can be a very expensive route. Okay, so as I say, right, we're going to go through this list and I need your help with it, right? I need you to get down in the comments and say if you think this set is worthy to be in this position or it is not. Okay, let's start at number five. So at number five, we have the McGregor CG 3000 Golf Club set. Now, this comes in at 369.99. So I would say towards the lower end of of the budget in terms of package sets. So on the cheaper side of things. This comes with 10 golf clubs. It also includes a either a cart bag or a stand bag. So a stand bag is the one that has the retractable stand. A cart bag, if you're someone that likes to use a golf buggy or someone that uses a walking trolley, that would be sort of the one that you should go for. So by all means, like McGregor is not known as a premium brand right now, but it definitely has a lot of stature within golf in sort of over the last 50 years. This is sort of a well-renowned brand, okay? Not so much of a fashionable brand like we have the likes of Callaway, TaylorMade, Cobra now, but definitely, definitely has some stature. So, it comes with a 13-degree driver, low-profile fairway woods that help get the golf ball in the air. And I like this, right? You get a choice of whether you want steel or graphite. By all means, I think usually the graphite set are going to be a little bit more expensive because it's a more expensive material. But overall, they have low CG and a massive undercut on the iron. So essentially, a little bit chunky at the back to help them put the CG lower and further back. Boom! Helps you get the golf ball in the air. It also comes with a mallet putter. Now, I'll be honest. I think this is a great start at number five. Yes, it does look a little bit more on the cheaper side. And one thing that I would say, you may go out of this set fairly quickly if you're somebody that wants to take golf more seriously. Now, you'll understand this as we go through the list. So, what do you think at that entry? I don't think it's a bad one to start us off. I'll be honest. This is number five. Okay, let's get now into number four on our list. Now, number four, I honestly can't believe this isn't number four. When I first saw this list, I thought this would be up there at number one or two. Honestly, I do. I do. I don't know. I, I mean, I've, I've taught a few people with this set. So this is the Styx Golf Complete set. Now, this is a little bit more expensive. They have a price bracket between 625 and just over a thousand pounds. Okay, so let's just say in the middle, let's say around 800 pounds as to be on the conservative side. But hear me out with this. It comes with 14 golf clubs. According to Golf Monthly, the driver performs like a premium driver, but without the high price tag. That is a massive tick because usually that's the thing that scares me. If someone was buying a package set of golf clubs, I would be on the fence about the quality of the woods. Irons can be irons in general, but the quality of the woods and the performance. So that's a massive win. Also, the irons provide a strong pl flight and plenty of forgiveness. And I think you'll agree with me here. These irons look absolutely mint. They look great. They look premium. I love it. Now, the cons here, I don't think they come with a golf bag. And also, the black finish may come off. In my experience, um, I've had black set of irons before, 
and I've had copper set of irons before. And these colours, the clubs that you use the most, they tend to wear off a little bit around the sole and around, I'm going to say the middle, hopefully the middle, but where you strike the golf club most. And now let's go into the specs a little bit. So you get a driver, a three wood, five wood, four hybrid, five iron through to pitching wedge and three wedges, 52 all the way to 60 and a putter. Now, the one thing, right, I know these are a lot more expensive than the last set, more than double, let's say, if you're depending what one you want to go for. But this screams to me one word, longevity. If you're a person, right, who's playing once or twice right now, okay, and you want to play a little bit more, these clubs are going to last you. They look great. They perform good. They've got a premium feel, and I've seen them in person uh so yeah i could highly highly recommend this set of golf clubs the one thing to bear in mind unlike the previous set this doesn't come with a golf bag so you've got to build that into your budget also okay let's get into number three on our list these are the tailor-made rbz speedlight package set these come around a similar price to the sticks at 849 they come with 12 golf clubs. They've got a great set composition here. Now, the one thing that I would say right now, this would suit a mid handicapper perfectly. But be wary again. Like, what I think I'd say with these bigger brands, you find that they put more, let's say, budget into the clubs and the bag's not as good. It's a little bit flimsy according to Golf Monthly, this one. But you know what? As a golf pro, I would rather you have clubs that are better than them. Don't worry about the bag. The bag's a... You can get one off eBay or Facebook Marketplace or wherever, right? For a lot cheaper, and it's a bag. A bag's a bag. You want the most. You want the most budget spent on your clubs, right? So it includes a six iron, two hybrids, two fairway woods, which I like. That I think having more woods, more help towards that top end of the bag, is where most of us need to go. It also includes a driver and a putter and a trolley bag. These clubs look premium and wouldn't look out of place, and nobody, what I like about this, nobody would think that you bought as a package set. They just thought you've gone down the tailor-made route, which I like, because sometimes you get package sets, and they scream package set from a long way. I know that's a massive golf snobbery thing. I hate saying it, but you know what I mean, right? You know what I mean on that front. So, number two. By the way, what do you think of those first three right now? I definitely feel sticks should be higher do you agree with me on that front? It's got to be higher, right? It's got to be. Okay, number two on our list. And this is the one that really did surprise me. But I get why it's in there. So number two is the Strata Men's Gold Package Set. And this comes in at £202. The cheapest yet. So as an entry-level set, yes, I get it. I really, really do. I get why this is number two. But longevity, not going to have it. I'm just not having it. Not having it. So, it includes 11 clubs. They're very easy to hit. Impressive distance. Now, the cons. The putter is crap. So, you've got to think, right? A package set, you want it to be an all-round bargain, don't you? You want it to be something that's going to last, something that performs well, and not only just performs well with driver or just with putter or just with irons, you want that whole collective thing. I don't feel this set offers you that. I feel like they've put more of the budget into the rest of it and just put a crappy cheap putter in but let me know what you think of the pictures of this one okay so it is comprised of a driver fairway wood two hybrids irons are six irons a pitching wedge putter and stand bag now they might not have the same premium look as like the sticks or potentially number one or even the tailor-made clubs but but there's no debate in the performance here according to golf monthly they perform so if again you're probably getting a similar performance in the irons and woods, but just not with the brand. And we see that in golf a lot of times, don't we? If you're not bothered about brands, this could potentially be one for you. Okay, so a little notes to hear of the set composition. The top line is nice and thick. This inspires confidence at address and a generous amount of offset, which should suit and tend to help people who slice it. The quality of the grips are good, and the shafts are premium set cavity back irons. And they echo the like of a premium set cavity back irons. The driver is equally forgiving, and it's very appealing to look at down at address. So, I guess right now, apart from the putter, you're getting value for money here. But, longevity? No, I'm not having it. 
I'm not having it. And uh, golf is a game of snobbery. We can all agree with that, right? Like, you're going to go to a golf club and you're going to see someone with a Callaway, Cobra, TaylorMade, whatever it is, and you're probably going to want to change. And that's not me disregarding this brand. That's just why I know, like, the psyche of a golfer works, right? That's why we end up, most of us, changing driver every one to two, three years. On that point, like, how often do you change your driver? Okay, drum roll, please. Let's go with this one. Number one. Now, I guess I've seen a lot of reviews of this one. This is the Callaway XR package set. Now, this is the most expensive. The most expensive. So, in my opinion, I think stick should be here. I'm gonna say it. So, this comes in at £1,199. It is a lot more expensive. It comes with 12 golf clubs. It has a premium, user-friendly aesthetics, and it's easy to hit through the bag. It also, I think this is where you've got to weigh up that price tag. You're getting an excellent putter. You're getting an Odyssey putter in this bag. And if you search best putters, Odyssey putters are up there. John Ram uses an Odyssey putter, and he's just won the Masters. You see a lot of guys on tour, and this is a very, very popular brand of putter, and you're getting it in a package set. So I guess I know this is more expensive, but I do feel you're still getting good value here. So, reasons to avoid this, some people may prefer a more specialist wedge, okay? That's one of the points that Gold Monthly have said. So, Callaway XR's offering sits towards the premium end of the package set market. The first thing to mention, you get a 10.5 degree driver, a 3 wood, a 4 hybrid, a 5 iron through to pitching wedge, gat wedge, sand wedge, and putter. Again, like I say... You're getting a very, very good value putter there. I mean, Odyssey putters range from themselves between 100 to 250 pounds. So if you look at that, I really feel you're getting good premium look. So if you're a golfer, a mid-handicapper who wants to rejuvenize their bag for a good value and not have to go through the worry of going getting fitted, going through all that, and you just want to buy it off the shelf, this would be a good option. But I truly believe, and I'm going to stick with what I said, that sticks option for me is one that I would say should be up there as number one or number two. That is what I would say is a great package set, in my opinion. You're not paying for a brand, but you're getting still premium quality. Now, I want to hear, I want to hear what your opinion is on this. And do get down in the comments because this channel is all about us having a debate. And I love it. I love your comments. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn the bell to never miss another video here on Bat9 Films.